Today we're gonna do one of my favorite things. We are going to do some dough bowl styling for fall. So this will work not only for dough bowls, they'll work for trays and even risers. We have a few little DIYs that we need to do for a couple of them in here and I hope it gives you inspiration to do some in your own home. Okay, let's get started. So recently I got this adorable lantern that came in the Decor Steel's Fall Steal It box. I posted a little like Instagram reel of everything that was in there and I'm like, how do I wanna use that this season? But I didn't want it to just be ordinary. You know I wanna do something just a little different. So it has this glass piece in here for where the candle goes. And so what I've decided to do is I'm going to decoupage this glass piece. So I got my Mod Podge and I've got some cool, like kind of, I don't know, eclectic looking uh, paper off of Etsy. And I think this is gonna be so cool. I just gotta find the exact spot that I want for my glass ring and then I'm just going to cut it out and we're gonna put this on there and it's gonna look so cute and give it a little extra uniqueness for when the candlelight is you know, shining through. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. I really like this bird with kind of these fall colors and I think that that is like what I want to go around the majority of this and so I'm gonna cut this to where I know it can go around it. And yes, it will take some of this, but I think that adds to the uniqueness. So I'm just measuring, and there is no science behind this. I'm just measuring where it comes out to, to make sure I cut it far enough. Okay, so it looks like about right there. Guess what? I still didn't get new scissors. <laughs> if you watch the uh, Pottery Barn, versus um, the thrift store. You saw how awful these cut, but they're not too shabby for paper. All right, let's see if this is going to fit. What was I thinking? Was I thinking it was gonna be like this? No. <laughs> I'm a little short. How did that happen? I totally had this all figured out even before I began. Oh, I'm annoyed. I'm gonna make this work. So see you guys, don't always rely on the person on YouTube to be telling you how to do it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we're, we're gonna fix it. It's gonna be fine. So we're just gonna take our Mod Podge and we're going to put a thin layer around the glass. Let me go get some newspaper. This will dry clear. Okay, so I'm only going to put half of that on right now because otherwise I'll never be able to hold it on. Okay. This is just some saran wrap and I'm just using it to smooth out all the bubbles. And then we'll have to piece together the part that didn't have any. I'm gonna cut this off and hopefully I can use an extra piece from this lower part to fix this back piece. But I love this. And then we'll get this more and then we'll put the Mod Podge on the front and get this all smoothed down. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. You're never even gonna be able to know. All right, so now I'm just gonna go around and put the Mod Podge on the outside. And once this dries, it's gonna look so cute. If you measured incorrectly like I did and it's a little longer, you can just fold those pieces underneath with the Mod Podge and it'll stay. And you can't even tell where the piece that we put together. So that's awesome. 
Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna put our whole dough bowl all together. Okay, let's get this all styled up. I have this pretty table scarf. And if you don't have a table scarf, use a regular fall scarf. That is like the perfect solution. I like the colors in it because I think it complements our little decoupage that we did there. And then we're just gonna add in a few little fall flowers. We're not gonna overdo it. Just a few on each side. I like how this one has little pumpkins. And then this cute little knit uh, pumpkin is from Decor Steels also, it was in the fall steal it box and I'm just looking for fun little ways to use the different items. Now this looks adorable with the scarf coming off both ways like this. It helps take up the space on my table and just softens it. And then let's light our candle inside. I think that looks so adorable for fall. You can style this however you want. If you want it to be a little more, you know, bunched up or a little more flattened out, that's completely up to you on personal preference. I like how it just looks kind of effortless and messy a little bit, but oh, look how pretty our candle looks. I love it. That turned out exactly how I was wanting. I think it looks so much better than if we would have just left it bare. All right, next up, let's talk about this little beauty that I made up here. I wanted to do something for those who like to keep it more neutral. And so I already have this put together, but I'm, let's talk about things and I'll deconstruct it and you can kind of see how it was put together and my thought process. So if you want to use something like this for your home. So keep in mind, not all of these are going to be your style for your home, but you can mix and match or say you don't like neutrals, you like really vibrant fall colors switch it out and just use you know more vibrant colors for the things that I did in a more neutral for this setting. I wanted to keep it kind of woodsy and natural. So I used the rest of these knit pumpkins that I got from Decor Steels. The colors go very nicely together. But to bring in more of that natural wood element, I have this cute wood pumpkin that I decided to put in there and then wood candlesticks. And then to just really top it off, I put these natural like, in my world, I call them dead sticks. <laughs> but I love to use these in different floral arrangements. And as you can see here, I have the greenery coming this way and I have the, the sticks coming this way. You could spread yours around and do whatever you want, but I thought this was just kind of a nice little different way to look at it. And then of course we use eucalyptus leaves to go underneath. I think that that's just a nice neutral greenery that can kind of go for any season. And so that was why I chose that. These beautiful little neutral colored sunflowers, I think are perfect for fall. I love the cream color. I think if I had an option, the only thing I would change, I wish I had more of a cream colored candle. I don't have a cream colored candle, so I had to go ahead and go with white, but use your imagination. <laughs> Blow my candles out here and I feel like sometimes people see something all together and they struggle with how, I love this cute little acorn, they struggle with how to put it together. And I will tell you, I do not start with my greenery. I have a tendency to start with the base pieces and then I put my greenery underneath. So the first thing I started with was this orange pumpkin and I put it in the middle. And I put the two candlesticks on each side. This is where it can get tricky, where since I'm using a dough bowl, there's a natural, obviously, like uh, curve to it. So this might be better for a tray if you have that. And so then I put that next to it knowing I wanted it like that. And then I was like, oh, I definitely want this little pumpkin somehow coming off the front at a catty corner, catty corner angle. And keep in mind as you're putting these in, you can play around. And then I put the little brown one back here in the back because depending on where you place your setting, is it gonna be in a dining room where people see it all around? Is it gonna be back on a buffet where people are only seeing the front? So keep that in mind when you're making yours up. Okay, and then next, I was like, I definitely wanna add in this rustic pumpkin, so I'll just set this down in here and we'll go from there. But then this is where I started just taking these and I have a tendency to come down underneath and that way they get hidden underneath of the base items that you put. And so then you don't have to worry about the stems showing anywhere. 
And yes, sometimes things will move, but you just have to rearrange it a little bit. And then I added in the cute little sunflowers in the back side. This little guy, I waited till the end because I wanted to get my stick in and I wanted this stick to just be coming off here just kind of naturally and just not too obtrusive and sticking up and then added him in and you can decide which way you want to place him to how he wants to be seen. And then I added in sticks back here coming off this side. And there you go. That's kind of how I do it. A little deconstruct to show you how it goes together and comes apart. And it is easy to achieve this look over and over. I feel like my candlestick is a little crooked. So a lot of times if it is, I might make my candle go a little more this way to give the illusion that's a, a little more straight up and down. Since I'm on this um, little curved bowl, we light our candles and ta-da. Such a pretty neutral setting for fall. I really enjoy this one and I think this will look great anywhere. Okay, next up, we are gonna do another DIY to make a really pretty dough bowl or tray or riser. I guess I really don't have to keep saying all those. You guys know what I mean. So over at Walmart, they sell these pieces of fabric. They're $1.47 a piece. I grabbed four different ones that I liked. And so as you guys have probably seen this rag garland, this one was sold at Hobby Lobby and it runs around $10. So it's cute and all, but I couldn't find a Halloween themed one that I wanted. So I thought this would be a great alternative to make our own rag garland. And so this way you can make it with whatever material or whatever you want for the theme. So I'm just gonna do a cute little Halloween themed dough bowl. And if you don't wanna do Halloween, I understand. So pick some fabric that would go with how you wanna decorate your house. So we're basically just going to use my little fabric cutter here and we're going to make strips of this fabric. Oh, that's so bright and cute. I love that. So on top of that, in order to make our rag garland, I have some um, jute cord that I just had had this forever from Walmart. And this is gonna be what we're gonna wrap it around. And to maybe add a little bit of dimension to it, I um, have some of this burlap ribbon and we're gonna use this also. So basically what I want you to do is I just want you to Cut these, let's see. How many inches is this to begin with? I think it's like 20. Yeah, it has to be 20, because this thing's 16. So let's just fold it in half. I want to cut three inches, like have them be three inches wide. And remember, they don't have to be perfect. So, oops. So just like that. And then that way, but I do feel like, is that gonna be too long? No, I think that's gonna be okay. So we'll just continue on and do three inch. Okay, so I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six out of that. So let's do the other ones. Okay, now I'm just cutting my burlap ribbon and I'm just cutting it at the 16. I hope that this is gonna be long enough. I think it will. I feel like when you're making something, you can make it be right whatever way you do it because it's yours and you're DIYing it. So you just make it however you want. I think I'm gonna use this as a guide on how long I want it to be. And they have extra for like little loops if you're gonna hang this anywhere. So I'll leave some extra also. And I will measure this out and let you know how long this is. Give me just a sec and I'll cut it and then I'll let you know. All right, so this is a little over six feet long because I have this extra part if you're ever gonna tie this onto something, but I'm just gonna tie it off on this end and I'm gonna do the same on this end. And then all we have to do is we can begin and we can decide what our pattern is that we wanna do. Um, I'm thinking, kind of like this. So we just take it and see how we cut it. And then we're just gonna tie it. Honestly, this is pretty quick. It's not rocket science. It's 
Something that I noticed that would have been a lot better looking that I didn't realize because they were rolled up is this fabric is only one sided and on the back it's not. This rag garland would have looked a lot better had we had it on both sides. So keep that in mind. But this is just a great example and something for us to play around with. All right, I'm just gonna continue this on and then we will get to decorating our doble. Okay, let's do something fun. First of all, learn from my lesson that that only did about half of that six feet. Also, don't buy fabric that's only one-sided and don't buy burlap that has the wire in it. <laughs> There's your guys' warnings. So we're gonna cover the front side of this dough bowl with our cute little rag garland that we made. And we're gonna do a whole spooky theme. And so we're gonna set this spooky guy right here. And remember, if this isn't your thing, then uh, decorate it with things that you love. And then to kind of stick with our little spells or whatever, we got this fun little spell book that we're gonna put here. I really love this little black floral arrangement. So we're gonna bring that coming across the back, kind of hanging out over here on the side. And then I have this adorable little like Halloween tree that we're gonna put up here. And then I kind of don't like how this is coming through right here. So I'm thinking, let me come around front. We'll put this through here like this. And then that way, that kind of covers that space, but you can still see the word spells and all that. And then that kind of covers up that open space. And there you go, you have something super fun and spooky and Halloween festive that was easy to make. And this little rag garland looks adorable and you can make them any way to match anything that you're planning to do. Maybe you're like, Leslie, I can't do skeletons or anything like that, but I want to do something for Halloween. What could I do? This is a great suggestion right here. Just a cute little sign that says, Happy Halloween. I went ahead and used that original rope garland that I got at Hobby Lobby and kind of did a whole black and white theme. I got black pumpkins and white pumpkins and black and white candlesticks. And I threw in this cute little Halloween tree that's supposed to light up, but it won't. I don't know what's going on with it. I even changed the batteries and it still won't. But anyway, this is a great alternative if you want to do something for Halloween and you don't want to do anything with like witches or anything like that. So this is a great one to keep in mind and very, I really like the black and white. I think it looks super cute. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Let's do something fun and do something super just harvest, traditional, really makes you think of fall. So we have our dough here and then I have these adorable little corn socks and so this one would be great for thanksgiving this would be great all through the fall season we'll have our corn stalks coming up out of the side i think it'd be cute to just put a nice traditional like orange pumpkin in the middle next i have this adorable like uh green pumpkin that i'm gonna have coming through the back over here and coming up off the side so that way we kind of have balance here on both sides of stuff coming up and out so I think this will be kind of fun because we haven't done anything with beads and you guys all know I love to incorporate beads into my different designs. And so I think we should just have it just kind of draping around throughout our little setting here. I like how it's just draping off the front there. And then I have this adorable sign that says, Fresh Farm Pumpkins, pick your own. And I think this would be cute if we just kind of set it back up in here. Like that. And then I have this vase with fall foliage. And I think that that would be adorable over here on the side. So one of the reasons I love this dough bowl is because it has the lip on each side. So if you are looking for one, I found this one locally. I'll try and list one down below if they have one. Since this is like farm fresh pumpkins, pick your own. We need to add a few more pumpkins in here. Actually, I think I'm gonna add this little cute little fall foliage. Make this a little bigger over here, a little bit more, and then have the pumpkin be that way put another pumpkin over on this side. 
And then I picked up this cute little candle that says, hey there pumpkin. And I'm just gonna put that here on this side to just kind of balance it out. I'm gonna come around to the front and see how this is looking. Now, normally I wouldn't recommend having two things that say words, because that says, you know, Farm Fresh Pumpkins, and then it says, hey there, pumpkin. So if you don't like the words, just spin that around. And that's totally personal preference on how you wanna do it. Let's light our cute little candle. Make sure this isn't gonna get in there and catch it on fire. That would be horrible. Wow, I just love that. That looks so cute and traditional. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which one is your favorite.